Hello friends, how are you? In this video, I'm gonna talk about the calculation of Canadian Armed Forces Military Pension. I'm gonna use a scenario in this video and the scenario is a captain, regular force or full-time member retiring at 60 years old with 20 years in service and 8980 per month as his average salary for the last best five years so 8980 times 12 we get 107,760 per year so 25 percent tax rate so the Canadian Armed Forces CAF pension formula is the following. I'm just going to read it. For full-time members, the formula used to calculate your annual CAF pension is equal to 2% of your average salary for five consecutive years of your highest paid pensionable service multiplied by your number of years. To make it simple, that's the formula right there. CAF pension is equal to 2% times ABS times Y, where ABS is equal to the average salary of the last best five years. In this case, in the scenario, it's equal to 107,760 per year. And Y, according to the scenario, is 20 years of service. We now use the formula to calculate the member's pension per year. So 2% times ABS times Y equals 2% times 107,760 times 20. We get 43,104 43, per year. So we divide that by 12. We get 3,592 per month. So applying the 25% tax, we get CAF pension is equal to 3,592 times 100 minus 25% or, or 75%. We multiply that to the monthly salary, we get a 2,694 per month net salary. Now, here is the scenario. What if the member retires between the age of uh, 50 to 60 years old? So in that case, the uh, pension would be, so if the retirement age is between 50 to 60, the pension is reduced by 5% for every year that the CAF military member is under the age of 60. So to break, that, to break that down, to be more clear, we're gonna do an example scenario. So if the captain in the above example is retiring at the age of 56, for example, so then we calculate the reduction. The reduction would be 5% times 60 minus 56, which is equal to 4. So 5% times 4, the reduction is 20%. So then that 20%, we will apply that to the previously calculated uh, pension. So I'm just going to show you how we got 3,592. So that's the 3,592 right there that we previously calculated. So then we now apply um, the reduction. Okay, so we apply the reduction of 20% right there. So we got 
3,592 times 100 minus 20%, which is 80%. Multiply that with the uh, monthly cap pension, we get 2,874 per month. Okay, now that's the per month. We can also calculate the CAF pension per pay day or per 15 days. We just divide the monthly pension divided by 2. We get 1,437 per pay day. Now we apply again the 25% uh, tax. So we get the CAF pension is equal to 1,437 times 100 minus 25%, which is 75%. We multiply that by 1,437. We get 1,077 per pay day or 2,154 per month. Okay. Now, each pension benefit includes a lifetime pension payable until death and a temporary ben bridge benefit payable from your date of entitlement until the age of 65 unless you become <coughs> entitled excuse me <coughs> unless you become entitled to CPP or QPP disability benefits what is the bridge benefit? The bridge benefit is a monthly amount payable to Canadian Armed Forces annuitants in addition to the normal, normal monthly benefit payable under the Canadian Forces Superannuation Act. So essentially it is a top up. It is uh, the bridge benefit is a an addition to the monthly pension to top up the the pension of the of the member this additional amount bridge benefit is roughly five hundred dollars per month on average more or less depending on the uh, scenario of the uh, CAF military member it can vary from anywhere from I would say three hundred to seven hundred dollars, depending on the scenario, such as number of uh, service and <clears throat> a formula. So the formula I would not discuss in this example, but I'm just giving you the rough estimation, which is five hundred on average. Okay, I hope you find this useful, and. Um, yeah, uh, just wanted to provide a uh, approximate formula on how to calculate the the uh, pension of of uh, Canadian Forces members. So I would like to thank you for the service of the Canadian Armed Forces. And they have done a great service to Canada and protecting their country either abroad or locally in Canada. Okay. Thank you for your service again.